are getting ready to paint the accent wall. Um, has been taken off and wiped it down. And he's currently looking for his good paint brushes so he can start cutting it in while I do the main paint job. I got my iced coffee that I made. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna paint today and I'll show you guys the progress. This is what the walls look like um, normally. They're like this very neutral beige color. And the color would have been fine had I not gotten all of her furniture. This natural wood color and it's just like a lot of cream colors in here. We're gonna paint this. Um, actually, I'll show you, I have the paint colors. So her accent wall color is going to be this, it's gonna be this wall behind me. And then um, the other three walls are just gonna be this whitish gray color. It's called Poetic Light. I can't get it to focus, but <clears throat> my husband was not happy about picking out <laughs> a white to paint the other three walls. He thinks it's pointless, but we just bought some samples of the Poetic Light to make sure that I like it in here, and we'll see how we like it. It's gonna be weird. I don't. I've never painted walls white before. What's Mr. Handyman up to? Let's get one of these things. Your little brush holder. Nice big uh, plastic bag in here like this you can pour all your paint in there and when you're done just what up nice so you don't have to messy water and put it all down the drain and I was smart husband what it looks like pretty easy nice job what are you complaining about I ruined my good red sheet it's not a good red sheet there's holes in it it's old we gotta go get a drop ball. you're joking no not why can't we just use old towels we gotta go to the truck place yep well, we're off to a not great start. Um, we just moved into this house and Jeff is missing like half the things he wanted to use to paint the wall. Cause he's the perfectionist, which isn't the worst thing, but it is when he doesn't have any of it. Uh, so we'll get started in maybe half an hour if we're lucky. So is it normal to have your paint look like that? Cause Hubby says no. Much better. Okay. Good job not wasting any paint. Definitely not a professional painter, nor have I ever been employed as a professional painter. But I will paint in a lot of rooms. Don't beat yourself up on the ceiling cut in. You go to other people's house and start looking around. You'll notice where it's totally normal. People have hit the roof and all that. So just don't, you know, get you a little paint and just kind of cruise, you know, cruise like that. 
Don't, don't beat yourself up on it. Good advice. for one brush you need at least need one good paintbrush this is a purdy and this brush I think is around $20 at least how long have you had this brush over probably 14 years so 14 years yeah one good paintbrush otherwise it's not gonna be good so we couldn't get started because he couldn't find his good paintbrush we just moved into this house and he's still kind of moving things between the garages. He had to drive the couple miles to our old place and he found his good paintbrush and he's happy and he did all the trimming, cutting in all the way around this wall. So thank you, babe. Um, he did buy some cheap ones for me to test on the walls, the um, white color right there. And literally the first stroke bristles came off <laughs> so um i don't even know why they sell these <laughs> tell the people about what you got going on over here this is a bucket of water i'll end up taking this outside with the hose and cleaning this brush off really well and using a, a steel brush it's honestly pretty dirty it uh, should be a lot cleaner but i'm um, taking a, a wire brush and really cleaning it really good <clears throat> small bucket of water yeah damp rag to wipe up any spills and to clean your hands if you need to mm -hmm. we have this tarp laid down for all the paint areas he even has some trash bags so for easy cleanup you can put things that you know are going to get messy yeah, so look how look he doesn't even have to clean this now that can just go right in the trash you could, yeah you could Oh, that's really so, cool. Kids save it up. Just zip lock it and save the tape bracket. for when you're ready to use it again. Yeah. And if you want to take a break, you could leave the brush in there basically. Okay, so leave the brush inside the ziplock bag. With the if you were going to keep painting or get a different one, you leave that in water overnight and come back tomorrow. Same with these rollers. If you wanted to, put that in the water. Come back tomorrow, dry it off, kind of, and, you know. Get back to work. Get back to work, yeah. I'm so mad. I've had this tripod for like five seconds, and I've already broken it. Ugh. Just make sure all these bristles are nice and flat. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And let's see. So this is a good brush brand to get. Mm -hmm. You'll have it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that line. You're good. Yeah. You did a good tape job. Wow. Nice. So Google said to wait two to four hours before applying the second coat of paint. Needs a cure, is what Google says. Jeff just put a trash bag over my, what is this called? Uh, the paint tray with the brush inside. And in about an hour and a half, I'll come open it up and I'll do the second coat. Okay, we finished with the accent wall. It's been drying for most of the day. This is what it looks like. 